Welcome back to Wake Up Epic. This is an exploration of acceptance. So if you're working with self-love, self-care, restoring your energy, recharging yourself, this is gonna be a practice that make a big difference for you. I'm Alex Iglesia and in Wake Up Epic, we're looking at how to use our body to improve our life. And specifically, we wanna wrap movement and embodiment around some specific themes. Now the theme is the 25th hexagram. When we uzazufy the 25th hexagram or translate the two trigrams into movement, we've got the top trigram as mesh, which is to say in a world of collaboration. Now, one of my missions, one of my visions is that the world is safe to play, that you're safe to be in your body, you're safe to be in the world. And that is a nervous system level function. That is in the absence of your story and in the welcoming of all stories, you can show up. So mesh, we start with mesh. Mesh is you come forward in your seat or you step forward as you're standing, you raise your arms up and wide. So we're forward, up and wide. There's a sense here in mesh, ideally, of being in the world, an active agent with perspective useful for collaboration, right? Useful for connecting to teams and noticing the connection between all the parts and the pieces of your goals and your dreams. Okay, so that's the beginning. That's the top trigram, that's the context. Then we drop down a little bit back, a little bit down, quite a bit down, and a bit narrow into bridge. The bottom trigram is bridge. And in bridge, we're making a choice to connect. So I, as an individual, you, as an individual, choose to connect. The embodiment is down, forward, and narrow. We're in the world, we're sensing, and we're focused. We're creating a connection, at least the possibility of a connection. So what is the embodied story then? It's something like in a world where we're free to play, I choose to connect. Having connected, I'm contributing to a world that's free to play, to collaborate, to create, to have synthesis, to have synergy. Again, it's in a world where all these things are possible. I can settle, connect, and choose this connection. There's that piece of agency in here. I'm choosing to connect. I'm opening this channel with you. And having done that, contributing to a world that plays. So that's one way to tell the embodied story of the 25th hexagram, just looking at the specific movement patterns, the dimensions of movement based on those lines. Now, you might not care about the specific lines, just let's get into the constriction, let's get into the acceptance, the universal love to use the gene keys theme or to use the human design theme it says that this gate, this hexagram is of the spirit of the self and the love of the spirit of the soul within you. So this is the love of the greater spirit as in God or the divine or whatever definition you choose. So what is it to step into a world where all is divine, to connect with our true selves, with our from heart, we could say heart to heart, in a way that is contributing to a world that is divine, a world where we're all connected in the most grounded practical way. So again, we're looking at what are the possibilities that this can bring you today in your unique position, place, time on the planet. So then what is construction? What is acceptance? Well, if we start with a bit of an issue in our mesh, if we start with like, mm, it's not exactly safe to be in the world and I can't exactly choose to connect. Maybe I got some glitches or it's not exactly safe to connect heart to heart. And like, this has been my story in a lot of ways. It's not safe to connect heart to heart, oh, but it's connect, it's safe to connect, you know, mentally and intellectually. And so my work has been connecting more heart to heart with people, making that safe. It's safe to be with you, it's safe to be together in a way that is not just mental. 
a lot of people who are very, very smart, but there's challenges with connection may really benefit with this practice. So constriction then has something to say about, mm, it's not exactly safe to be in this collaboration and it's not exactly safe to connect. And so what are we gonna do? It, we're, we're gonna shrink in our bridge. We're gonna contract or not come out or connect. And I'm not gonna show up. I'm not gonna even see a world that allows me to show up. So we'll come back to this as a practice in a bit, which is laying out the territory. So then what is acceptance? Acceptance in a mind-body mechanical way is something like an easy flow from this wide open space with perspective and agency and showing up and the ease, the joy, the fluidity of connecting to what matters in the moment and then that resonates and then that resonates and then ease with determining what's right for you, what's good to connect to, what's nurturing and nourishing, and reintegrating that back into the whole. Let's try that one more time. So something about acceptance, or this has something to teach us about acceptance, about moving from welcoming all of it, freedom to connect, having done that, integrated that as an individual person and self, contributing to the whole. So what is it that gift, uh -huh. what, what is the gift that acceptance has for you today? So what we'll do next, as we do with Wake Up Epic, is we're gonna move into just beliefs, the specific core beliefs, mental structures that are connected to these gifts of constriction and acceptance. And as you do this, we'll touch in on this embodiment, right? So we've got mesh and we've got bridge. You don't have to have your arms out like this, but as we go through these sentences, these four core beliefs, Imagine you're still in mesh and you're still in bridge. You can try this once with me here, like physicalize it. And if you want, you can hold that here. You can, you can keep connecting to mesh, connecting to bridge at the same time. Just let that be a position that holds your experience. Or you can relax that and bring your hands to your heart. I'm gonna do a little bit of both. I'm gonna put one hand in my heart and one hand in bridge. So you get to really choose and make this your own. I'll say these statements and think of them as we're dropping seeds into fertile soil. So it's not a belief or a mantra or an intention that you're trying to force yourself to, to believe, more like what happens in your experience when you say these things. Ready? So the context of the four beliefs are about sensing into the potential of what can emerge through your connections. Bridge, connections what can emerge through these connections, mesh, same story. First one, here we go. I sense into the potential, I can sense into the potential of what can emerge through my connections. Number two, I can allow myself to be delighted and inspired through my connections. We pause for just a second. Notice as we're dropping these words into your experience, the feeling of bridge, the feeling of mesh, just the feeling of being in your body is either going to land or it's gonna uh, subtract. <laughs> the experience will reduce a bit. So just pay attention to that. The paying attention to that is what's going to allow it to start to change very organically and a lot faster than you thought it could. So third one, here we go. I can form deep and meaningful connections with others through my work. Last one. I can experience a sense of belonging through my interactions with the world. And let that go. So can you see how we're getting at these core fundamental patterns, connection in the world, in a world 
that allows for connection through words. We did it through body. Now we did it through words. Now that you've touched it, you've opened up where you have shadows around constriction, where you've got gifts about acceptance and what you can accept and what's going to usher in a more universal love. Let's do the movement practice three times through. It looks like this. We'll start in mesh. We'll drop down into bridge, come back into mesh. We'll do that three times. In that, we're waking up your capacity to embody these themes that the 25th hexagram is pointing to, the 25th gate and the 25th jinky. Are you ready? Here we go. Start mesh. Take a look around the space. Once you've taken in the space, start to drop down and narrow and focus your attention somewhere. A point your attention somewhere and open yourself to connect. What does it mean to connect with that? If there's any parts of your body that are tense, what would it be like to connect with them? Do they relax? Do they do anything else? And come back into mesh. Round two, make it a little smoother, softer. So from looking around and taking in the whole space, recognize you're taking up some space. Let your attention get drawn to something that you want to connect to and aim that embodiment of bridge, the connection at that object or at that idea. Is there anything you can relax? Once you feel like you've got the connection, integrate it back into a mesh. One more round, ready? So all the constriction and mesh everything where you're constricted about being in the world. What can you accept? Glide and land into a new connection. All your constriction with this connection, what can you accept? When you feel like something's opened in you, bring it back, integrate it into this bigger hole that you're part of. Let the practice go. Take a moment and just be in the middle of it all. Be neutral, relax your arms, relax your body. Whether your eyes are open or closed, bring your attention a bit in and a bit out, a little bit of both. It's like, what if you could accept the gift of everything and you didn't have to have any barriers and you could choose your boundaries? It was purely safe to be yourself with others wherever. And at least at that, those were options. So thank you for waking up your gifts of acceptance. This has been a wake up epic practice, small part of a much bigger journey that you're on. So thanks for letting me contribute to you. If you have any questions, let me know. What else would you like to see? One of the things we can do is bring this into your exercise, your fitness, your movement in your daily practices. And when you do, people really start to see some interesting results and synchronicities and wonderful miracles and timing. And that can really help with your goals. It can also just help you connect to who and what you need to connect to. And maybe you've been avoiding some things. So whatever has been causing constriction, I hope that you find 
and discover and receive some of the gifts of that. So thanks for being epic. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next experience.